Good day everyone, here's our math challenge for today. And here's our question. If a squared plus b squared plus ab equals 7, b squared plus c squared plus bc equals 21, and a squared plus c squared plus ac equals 28, then what is the value of ab plus bc plus ac? Provided that A, B, and C are in the set of positive real numbers. Now, if you want to try this problem, just pause this video. We have 20 seconds and timer starts now. Time's up. Now let's answer this question together. Our goal in this question is to get the numerical value of this AB plus BC plus AC given this three equation. And also, we need to consider that A, B, and C are in the set of positive real numbers. Now, how are we going to answer this question? Now, first thing to do is to get this first equation. We have a squared plus b squared plus ab equals 7. Now what we're going to do is to rearrange this term a little bit. So we have ab on the middle. And at this point, let's suppose that a is not equal to b is not equal to c. So a, b, and c are not equal to each other. Now, since they are not equal to each other, we can now multiply both sides by a minus b. Because we know for sure that a minus b is not equal to 0. Now, on the left-hand side, notice that it is a special product. So, if we have x minus y multiplied by x squared plus xy plus y squared, it is equivalent to x cubed minus y cubed. Therefore, the left-hand side of this equation is just a cubed minus b cubed. And on the right-hand side, we have 7 multiplied by a minus b. Now we will do the same thing on the second equation. So let's multiply both sides by b minus c because we know for sure that b minus c is not equal to 0 and the left hand side becomes b cubed minus c cubed. Again we will do the same thing on the third equation. Let's multiply both sides by c minus a. So we have 28 multiplied by c minus a and on the left side, we have c cubed minus a cubed. Now, the question is, why we do this kind of manipulation? Now, notice that if we add these three equations, a cubed and negative a cubed cancel out, b cubed and negative b cubed cancel out, and this c cubed and negative c cubed cancel out. But before we add these three equations, let's simplify first the right-hand side of this equation. So, on the first equation, let's multiply it by 7. On the second equation, let's multiply by 21. And on the third equation, let's multiply this by 28. Now, what we're going to do is to add these three equations and take note that the left-hand side must be equal to 0. So, we have now 7a minus 28a. This will give us negative 21a, 21b minus 7b, this will give us 14b. 28c minus 21c, this will give us 7c. Now notice that all numerical coefficients must be multiple of 7. So let's divide all terms by 7. This will give us 0 equals negative 3a plus 2b plus c. Now let's solve for the value of c. This will give us the value of C as 3A minus 2B. Now, let's set aside this result for a while. And now, let's get the third equation. We have A squared plus C squared plus AC equals 28. Now, we know the value of C. This is just 3A minus 2B. So, let's replace all C with 3A minus 2B like this. Now, let's focus on this expression, 3a minus 2b quantity squared. Now, if we square this, this will give us 
9a squared minus 12ab plus 4b squared. And on this expression, let's distribute a. This will give us 3a squared minus 2ab. Now, a squared and 3a squared will give us 4a squared. Now, notice that we have 4a squared and 4b squared. So, let's group them. Now, let's factor out 4. So, we have 4 multiplied by a squared plus b squared. Now, notice on the first equation, we have a squared plus b squared plus ab equals 7. It follows that a squared plus b squared must be equivalent to 7 minus ab. So, we can replace this a squared plus b squared with 7 minus ab. Now, let's multiply this by 4. So, this will give us 28 minus 4 AB. Now, if we subtract 28 on both sides, 28 are cancelled out. So, this will give us negative 4A plus 9A squared minus 12AB minus 2AB equals 0. Now, let's combine similar terms. Negative 4AB minus 12AB minus 2AB will give us negative 18AB. Now, since all numerical coefficients is a multiple of 9, let's divide all terms with 9. This will give us a squared minus 2ab equals 0. Now, since a is common, let's factor out a. Now, since it is equal to 0, it means that at least one of them must be equal to 0. So, we can say that a equals to 0 and a minus 2b equals 0. Now, realize that a, b, and c are on the set of positive real numbers. So, a cannot be equal to 0. So, the only possible answer must be a must be equal to 2b. Now, let's set aside this result. And now, let's get the first equation again. We have a squared plus b squared plus a, b equals 7. Because we now know the value of a. So, a is just 2b. So, we can replace all a with 2 times b. Now, let's simplify this very quick. 2b raised to 2 will give us 4b squared. b times 2b will give us 2b squared. Now, let's simplify. 4b squared plus b squared plus 2b squared will give us 7b squared. Divide both sides by 7. This will give us b squared equals 1. Now, get the square root on both sides. This will give us the value of b as positive or negative square root of 1. Now, square root of 1 is just 1. And again, notice that a, b, and c are in the set of positive real numbers. So, b cannot be equal to negative 1. Therefore, b must be 1. Now, at this point, we are now ready to solve for the value of a and c. So, because a is 2 times b, so we can replace this b with 1. So, a must be 2 times 1 or simply 2. So, we have now b equals 1 and a equals 2. And to solve for the value of c, this is just 3 times a minus 2 times b. Or simply, 3 times 2 minus 2 times 1. So, we have 6 minus 2 or simply 6 minus 2 will give us 4. Now, a equals 2, b equals 1, and c must be 4. So, we are now ready to find the numerical value of this expression, ab plus bc plus ac. We know the value of a, this is just 2. The value of b is just 1. And the value of c is just 4. So, we have now 2 times 1 plus 4 times 1 plus 2 times 4. This will give us 2 plus 4 plus 8. And 2 plus 4 plus 8 is simply 14. Therefore, given these three equations, then the value of AB plus BC plus AC must be 14. And as always, we are done.